All right. Here we have lesson 5.2 covering withdrawals. We have some equations we're going to add to our sheet today. These are steps to filling out A withdrawal slip. All of this should be done in pen. Step one, write the date. Step two, write the account number. Step three, Write the amount of the withdrawal as a numeral. Number four, write the amount of the withdrawal in words with cents as a fraction of a dollar. And lastly, sign the withdrawal slip. What process for checking accounts does this remind you of? Hopefully you said it reminds you of the writing a check process. There are a few slight changes, like whenever I'm doing a withdrawal from my savings account, I don't actually have to tell them who I'm writing the check to, because I'm just taking the money out of the bank. The other thing is I don't necessarily have to write a memo on why I need the money. Again, I'm just taking the money out of the bank. You had one vocab word for today, and that vocab word was withdrawal, which is money taken out of a bank account. Let's go ahead and get started on example three, I believe. Lesson 5.2, example three. First part of this says... Write the amounts in either word form or as a numeral, depending on which way you're given. So here, for A, it says, write dollar sign 4.45.00 in word form. 
So if I go to write this in word form, I'm going to write this as 45 and 0, 0 over 100 because I've got no change and it said write your cents as a fraction of a dollar. So we would always write it over 100. Let's take a look at B. 3, 5, 5, point 3, 4 in word form. So that 3, 3, no, 3, 5, 5 is 355. So I got 300. Fifty five, and we're going to write this change or my cents in the form of a fraction over a dollar. So thirty four over a hundred. Let's take a look at C. Write twenty dash five and 50 over a hundred dollars as a numeral. So 20-5 is 25 decimal. This and represents my decimal, okay? And we always write the numerator. So 50 would be my change. Write 3,099 and 22 over a hundred dollars as a numeral. So we've got dollar sign, 3,000, so three comma. It says 99, there's no hundred, so that would be zero, nine, nine, and represents my decimal and my numerator is my change. So 22 is my cents here. In this section for the try on your own, you have four questions. And it says, write each of the following either in word form or as a numeral. So based on the way that it's given to you, write it in the opposite. Uh, this shouldn't take you long, so let's go with a seven-minute time limit on this. Go ahead and pause your videos now. Take a moment to compare your answers for questions four through seven in the try on your own and make sure they match up. On the next slide, you're going to see a drag and drop on the order of which the withdrawal slip process is. Make sure you match them in the right order. Good luck.